Here we are on the 30th of March. I got to be looking at my YouTube channel to make sure it came on. I got to wait a couple seconds because usually we play a video and it gives uh, YouTube a chance to start. So let me make sure that it starts. Uh, nothing yet. Yeah, there it goes. All right, there it is. Yep, it's going. Okay. Hello, everybody. Again, thank you for coming. It's the 30th of March. I had a little, the whole inside of Restream changed on me overnight. So I had to get familiarized with it. It'll get better. It'll be better tomorrow. As you can see, we have a special guest, Mr. Collins Mana. Uh, yesterday, we did do an update, a uh, monthly update with uh, Comfort. Uh, I think it was very good. Uh, the, the problem, I believe, is not enough people watch it. So we want to, anybody that does go, we got to start sharing that every week or anytime with Collins, Andy, or Comfort, whatever they're doing. I think it's a very good idea because the main thing we want to do now, on Passive hasn't changed our direction, okay? And the main thing is we want to make sure everybody gets the truth, right? We want to try to give as much information in the truth true information as we can. And I would highly recommend going to all of the people that I mentioned. Uh, at 11 o'clock, Chris uh, Red will be on, he said. I was on with him earlier to check out his uh, internet. He sounded good. Everything seemed fine. So he, he got that down pat. So it should be a, should be fine. Uh, today, I wanted to bring up a, a, one thing I was thinking about is uh, many things I'm thinking about, but um, Oh, by the way, if you didn't look at that up uh, that uh, update that we did with people yesterday with Comfort and Collins and, and uh, Daryl, go there because Daryl uploaded a couple things and did a he showed how certain things work. Tell you what, he he's really good at it, really good at it. And there's a lot of functions you do not know. I do not know. What you got to do is get into O Connect, go in with a friend. I don't care who, couple people. And just go one click at a time and mess with it and find out what this O Connect really does. And it does everything but cookie breakfast. <laughs> no joke. I mean, I went in there and I was I was doing a, a, a thing where I wanted to do a presentation. I uploaded, I went, wow, that's pretty cool. Then you could download it, then everybody can download it, and then everybody can sign it, and every uh, it, it's amazing. That was one button. It's got buttons all the way across the bottom. So I would highly recommend instead of people asking, how does this work? How does that work? How does this get in and find out? You're not going to break it. So go in, click buttons, find out what happens. And if, if, if whatever happened didn't work out like you thought, get out of it and do it again. Uh, that's what I've been doing the last. Well, I did it this morning after I made videos and it was pretty impressive. So and I'm, I'm blown away over it. And I think if everybody, here's what I believe. I think everybody on the planet, just about, if you have internet and you have a laptop or an iPad or a phone, you could find a reason, a good reason to use OConnect. No doubt about it. I don't care what it is. Check with family, uh, do trivia, uh, educate, train, teach, share, all these things are going to be, be, you'll be able to do on there. And you're, the, the beauty of it is you're not going to change. You're not going to beat the price and you won't beat the technology. So best technology, best price, all the features you could want. It's so much fun. Um, oh, this freaking jackass is back. Devil's Advocate, probably on your channel, Chris. And anyway, I'll check it out. I gotta go get rid of him once for all. Yeah, well, instead of just playing patty whack with him, you gotta get rid of him for good. Anyway, <clears throat> so he wants to know why we're not using our own device. Okay, I'm gonna explain that to everybody so you know. Do you know why I'm not on OConnect right now? If I go on OConnect and share OConnect with OConnect people, 
would not be cuckoo for freaking Cocoa Puffs. Why would I share with people that are already there? I'm using YouTube and this device so that I can share this wonderful thing with other people. Okay? Devil's advocate can't put those two together unless you explain it to him how it works. Plus, he doesn't really care because he's a butt wife. But the point is, that's why we're doing it, okay? It's a device. Listen, I built an organization in Unpassive using Facebook, and I don't care for Facebook. That's not what this is about. I want to, you're going to throw a net, you want to be able to throw out the people that maybe don't know anything about O-Connect. That's why we're doing it, okay? And I'm explaining that to everybody. Devil's advocate doesn't care what the answer is. He just wants to be a butt. So, but that's why, okay, in case anybody wants to know. In fact, that question was asked yesterday, and that's the answer I gave. It's, it's just so we can share with people that aren't in O-Connect. Uh, do we do some just O-Connect things? Yeah. 360, we share it outside, but we actually do the event in on Passit, O-Connect. So anyway, that's why. The second, the other things are, uh, this was brought up a few times, and I believe this 100%. Te team up with somebody. Because what you don't know, they will. And what you know, they won't. In a lot of cases. Take the OTEC pros. They, they got four guys. They all come up with something different. Every time. Me and Chris, he comes up with something. I come up with something different. The delivery is different. Red, same thing. I mean, it, it's everyone. Um, Comfort, Collins. Julie Wynn, uh, Rob Lynn, everybody has a different delivery, okay? Everyone. So you got to think of that. Just, just think it's it's not right, wrong, it's different. It's all, we're all in the same thing. We all want the best thing for the company, and we want to share it. It's that simple. I just want to share it. I think it would be a good thing for people. Um, what else I want to say? Uh, today, we will have Q&A, so if you put a Q and then put your question in, and if you want to ask a question that, I mean, a lot of the questions, you the answers you should know, but I'm willing to tell you, and don't be shy, I'll tell you the best I can, so will Collins, so will Chris, and we'll go from there, but in, before that, I want to get Collins on the screen to see any input he might have, I don't tell anybody what they need to talk about, because there's plenty to talk about. And uh, then we'll go to Chris, and then we'll do Q&A. Mr. Collins. Yeah. Hello, Hello Maddie and Chris. Thank you guys for inviting me again. Today is a wonderful and lovely Saturday, and we are here again to share, you know, the little we know about on Passive. I know, like Maddie said, people are wondering, like, whoever asked that question, Maybe we need to look at the type of technology we have out there. This is a streaming tool. What we're using is streaming. It's not, it's not a video conferences as per se. You know, YouTube is what? It's YouTube search engine like Google. I think it's the number one now above Google. You know, Google search engine. Those who want to check, go, how many times do you go to, to YouTube? A lot of businesses advertise in YouTube. It's like a marketplace. So where do you go if we have something like this all connect? We go to YouTube to showcase what we have. Most of the large video conferencing platform that are out there in the market, we can name them. They are, they are just like the five giant. Where do they go? When they started, it was in a search engine. Someone would say, okay, why you have it? Why don't you use yours? Why should you go to, to, to search engine to advertise? It means you don't even know what you are talking because that is a market. Same to on passive. We would do it here because we want to reach out to those who are not yet in on passive. Same like someone who said, all right, why don't you do it in O-Net? You are doing it in Facebook. People are already in O-Net. But we need to reach out to people in Facebook to bring them to O-Net, to see O-Net. And they can stick with O-Net. So sometimes when we need to use reasoning, you know, we need to judge using our reasoning. Because if they give you two markets, one have very big, huge market of 5.5 billion, and there is a market of, 200,000, where will you go to, 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 to showcase your business? You will go to that market. You know, you need to go to the bigger market to say, look, this is something I get. You start somewhere and then bring people in to where you are. So what Madi and Chris and Red, they are doing and the others is to bring people to point them to the direction of unpassive, which is a good thing. 
Now, let's look at the reason why Mr. Ash Mufara built on passive. It was about to simplify businesses, you know, to help business to grow, give them a solution that can build, that it can optimize profit or maximize profit and minimize loss. And we saw it yesterday in All Connect. What we saw that that Rico did was amazing because how many companies will use it, especially when it comes to fire or blood? How many companies do appraisal a year? Just think about it with your business one to one with with employees, and they say sign this document. You know, sometimes they upload it on Dropbox or on Share folder and say, oh, we've uploaded it. Go to your email, sign the document. Sometimes you open a document; it's not really what you agree with your manager or the person who did the appraiser. But what if you have an application where you can have your appraiser, and then the document is there, share screen, you look at it, and when you are happy, your manager tell you, are you happy with it? Yes. Put your signature in there. You know, you put your signature, stick it straight away, upload, download the document, and they can send it to human resource and say, yes, we agree that this is what we talk. This is your, your, the way forward for the employee, the next goal that you, you, you have to achieve for you to have pay raise. Will you be happy or not? You know, a lot of company will come because it's time saving. It's cost effective because, you know, you don't need to waste time again. How many of us sometimes in most of the thing that because of COVID, they're doing a lot of things online, document signing, dual screen sharing. And we have all of those in one application called O-Connect, a video conferencing platform. It is huge for those who are still doubting. You know, what we are saying is take a look. Don't judge out when you are out of on passive get in there is a free version sign play with the free version and if you don't like it click the button and said okay this is not for me you know it is just easy to do it rather than sitting out and said oh why are you using this and sometimes we don't even understand the various applications it's just like we said all right the first thing we had was skype skype came out and we have whatsapp why don't we tell whatsapp why are you building whatsapp why there is there is skype or why do you build YouTube or you tell TikTok manager or those who build TikTok, say, why do you bring TikTok? We have YouTube. Nobody will even look at your application. That is really a silly thing to tell because we have a lot coming and people go where they feel comfortable because the market is there for all of this. A lot of video conferencing platforms are out there and all of them are making hundreds of millions or even billions, you know, but no one ever complained and said, oh, they know because the market is there. The vast market is there. We are talking a platform of almost 30 billion dollars you know that is the market cap of video conferencing or maybe more you know so all of this pr product has something to do and the more you simplify it the more you capture the market and this is exactly what mr ash before have done simplifying it he said i'm not coming to invent reinvent something but i'm coming to make your life easy to look at something and say, we can adjust this, we can fix this, we can make it better and easier for people to use. And that's exactly what Ms. Ash Mofara is doing and has done with, with O Connect. So let us take a closer look and understand why he is building this, this business, why he's building what is there. But if you sitting behind and still doubt, give it a time and then you will take a look and say, wow, I regret not being in it. So this is what I just wanted to share, buddy and Chris. Thank you. Absolutely excellent. Chris, you want to go now? Yeah, I'll be real quick. Um, keep an eyeball. I apologize, guys. I'm trying to learn how to block individuals to come on and disrupt us every day. So um, I want to bounce what, what Collins just said is, you know, Ash Mafara built this system that everything connects. No matter what product we got coming out, it's all going to connect together so you don't have to leave the ecosystem. Uh, similar to what William Ford did many years ago in Detroit, he wanted to build an entire city where parts, everything, everything was right in the same facility. So you never had to go anywhere. Uh, I think it's genius what he did. A lot of complaints that we've heard over the last three, four, five years was individuals that maybe were in HR, uh, Susie, Mc, Susie McCray, especially because she was our HR person that she had to go out and into a hundred different programs to close payroll, to do attendance. And I'm thinking that is a pain in the butt because I've watched people that had to do payroll. I've experienced it myself that 
man, I had to go here to here to here. And I think one of the, one of the, listen, there's a lot of best things in Impassive, but this is one of the great things is you do not leave that ecosystem. It's what is it we call it? One, one click all. He's got a name for it. I always forget what it said, but that's a, that's a prison, uh, a prison, pretty positive thing. When you think about it, anyone that owns a business, Anyone that's that works for someone that they're in charge of payroll, attendance, um, productivity, ordering parts. Hey, man, this was all done on a bunch of different programs. They, If you looked in one of their computers, you'd see they have a million things that they had to go through to get. Payroll wasn't one thing. It had to go to two different things. Ash Mafara and his amazing tech team and all the individuals that he hired have built it all into one. In other words, if I own a company, and I do own a company, it's called Impassive. But if I own it and I had to pay all these people, uh, if I had to order parts, uh, if I had to keep care of tenants, it's all in one thing. And I love that interconnectivity thing going on there. It's a plus. And I think a lot of us, I say this, it's my new saying, I think a lot of us forget about things. We, we're, we've concentrated on O-Connect, which is a great thing. And remember, Everything that comes past O Connect is going to be connected to O Connect. Everything, and it doesn't matter what it is. Uh, I I open one thing, and that's where I stay. Boom, boom, boom. Click, click, click. Payroll's done. Parts are ordered. Attendance is fit. I'm a happy camper. If I'm a business owner, I'm a happy camper. If I'm just a person, I got everything with one touch of a button, and that is a plus, plus, plus. And again. Devil's Advocate's back again. Hold on. <laughs> I know you're still here. Uh, I'm just going to put him in timeout right now, Marty, until I figure out how to get this off here. Um, now, I don't want to be I don't want to be distracted by this guy anymore. Devil's Advocate, just go away. I'm just not going to pay attention to you no more. But we are in the greatest company. Why? Because it's all right there for us. It's under our noses. It's at our fingertips. Uh, do you need all these products in your personal life? Probably not. But they're out there anyway, and they're being in use. But ours are going to be so much better, and they are better. Uh, just by looking at O-Connect, we used the other Zoom, the Broom product for a long time. And now we have our own Connect, and you can see the difference, the clarity. Every night I go on, some, I always say, oh, my God, it looks more clear today than it did yesterday. You know, you hear uh, uh, Marty and, and Ash and, and Colin say, uh, this is the worst you're going to see it. Every single day, it has improved, improved, improved. Now, are there room for, listen, I have a saying, there's always room for improvement. That's how Ash Mafara thinks. Even if it's the perfect thing he saw, there's always room for improvement. I've used that saying my whole life, uh, especially when I work. Yeah, there's always room for improvement. In other words, uh, there's people that throw ideas at us. I think someone just threw an idea at us here a couple minutes ago. It's it's amazing how Ash Mafara absorbs everyone's ideas. He doesn't just ignore people. He actually listens to the founders. He listens to people that have a, a, an idea. It isn't about uh, each individual. Every one of us matter to him. He's proven that over and over and over. A lot of the ideas uh, that were thrown in about Oak Connect, when he turned down the new Oak Connect, we've seen those there. And that that's pretty cool where, let me listen, my whole life, my CEO, I couldn't even get close to him <laughs> at Ford Motor Company. He drove by me real fast one time in Iowa. You know, I, I've sat down and broke bread with this guy. I know who he is. Um, anyone that wants to call him names, you go ahead and call him names. You're not going to hurt him. Uh, he is a lot better at it than we are because he knows what he has. He knows what he's offering. He knows everything that's coming our way. So he doesn't let ind individuals get in his way. All right. That that's what I love about this guy. He doesn't lose his cool or his patience. I do. I'll be the first one to say, wham, that's not him though. Uh, I, I'm glad I got a CEO that I can follow. Uh, I'm glad I have a CEO that's leading me in the right direction. I'm glad I have a CEO that has put me in where I'm at today changed my life altogether. And when people ask me, how do you, how's it changed your life? Because I look at things a lot different. I can explain it to you. You probably wouldn't understand it. When I see someone on the street 
or when I hear people talk about they don't have a job, they try, they can't get a job, not a good paying job. This is what it's all about. People that just can't get a break. People that have disabilities that can't work. It's for everyone. It doesn't matter who you are, what you are. It doesn't matter if you're blind, if you're deaf, if you're paralyzed, if you have uh, something that's stopping you from getting a job. And passive's it. We open it to everyone that wants it. And I can't wait to watch it explode. Uh, it's already started. Most of you don't see it. I already see it. And why, how do I say that? Because my mind hasn't stopped on the things that I'm really going to do in my life when this all happens. And that's the way I think. You can think however you want, but everything for me is coming out strong and straight. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be here at this certain time. I'm going to be helping this person. I'll be fishing this day, but I'm going to help this person yesterday. And that's the way you got to think, period. I can talk at passive all day long about things. It, it, listen, and passive is about each individual, what we can do, how we can better and not only our personal lives, but all the lives around us. Ash Mafar has said that many, many times. It's not about us. Together as a family, it's about us. Because together, we are going to change the world through and passive, through the products, and, and many things that Ash Mafar has come in our way, which you don't know yet. And I say, hold on, uh, have faith, have hope. That's what this weekend's all about, if you ask me. Easter weekend was about faith and hope. Something's going to happen big, okay? And it did happen big. Now, Ash Mafara, he's a man. He's on a mission. Uh, he has built an army of followers and and leaders and passionate people that wants to help change the world. Bottom line, and passive is here to stay. It's not going anywhere. And why I say that, because it's got a heart. And it's just going to keep pushing on forward in every single country in the world, which we're in now. And it's going to be amazing. Marty DeGarmo, Collins, thank you for coming again. Back to you. Fantastic. Absolutely. Thanks, both of you. Uh, obviously, you remind me some things. Remember, um, here's something that's very important. Mr. McFarrow has been working online over 20 years, okay? Longer than me, I believe. Um, he became what they call a master distributor. Uh, he has records in how many people he has introduced to a, a given business. He would look at the business, look at the pay plan, look at how it works, and just master it as quickly as he could. And he could. Um, most people with that talent and then start also knowing uh learning ai and doing because he's always educating himself decided to build something else now most people if they had that idea and they had could get their their, their hands on the resources to build a company like oconnect they would take their self a few very close friends and family members and build what we see as on passive. And then we could come in as, you know, customers and all that. And 99.9999 of the revenue goes to the, the, uh, the Mufora family. That would, that could have been done. Why not? Zoom does it. A lot of these big companies, they, the money goes to the company. Now, what did he decide to do? He looked at his industry. He looked at what he's done in the past. And he got sick and tired that he would build systems to help people go with him. But it's not quite the same because the business part of it wasn't his. And he didn't have the control to make the business more inviting to share revenue. Yes, you can be an affiliate in a lot of businesses, but it really is, it's not designed for everyone to win or everybody to have the potential to win. Um, all the MLMs, we know this numbers, numbers don't lie. Like two or 3% people win. One, two, three. Uh, that's a pretty low number. That means 97, 98% of the people lose. 
That's crazy. And these are people that want came in to be a business. They weren't just customers. They wanted to create income online. So what did he do? Five years ago, he got in. He said, I'm going to build a system, but it's not going to just be as we borrow a system. It's going to be massive. And that's where he started with his mind. Now, first of all, just going to be what we call a marketing system. That's the that's the company I heard about. And even then I thought, wow, if he builds up like I'm hearing and I didn't know who he was, I got to know. For 97 bucks, I got to know. I don't care if I throw it out the window because I lost tens of thousands of dollars online. Tens of thousands of dollars online. And that's even after learning how to market. Okay. That said, he comes in. He, he builds, he's starting to build this, this, this uh, marketing platform somewhere around the middle of 2019, big time before 2020, end of 2019. They realized the real dream he had was four or five years or six years or 10 years down the road before, or five years before he even started, was more of what we see today. But what happened was, people started blocking in. He started to realize that not only as he realized that the industry is junk and there's corruption, other people started to realize it too. I'm one of them, but there's hundreds of thousands of people. I went, this can't be right. There's gotta be something better. Now, does there have to be something better? 40, 50 years says no. People were pretty happy sucking money out, even if they last a year, leave, repackage it, and call it another name, because they know the people will come in the hopes that they might win, in the hopes that they might win. They might have a chance. And in reality, it never, it just doesn't happen. He said, I'm going to build a company with all the skills and stuff built in so that if an IT guy comes in like Collins, asked, and the company is saying, okay, Collins, you come in, you understand what we're doing, but the part you don't know, the most, the biggest part of building wealth in this business online and off is marketing. I don't care how good your website is. If you can't get people to look at it, they're not coming. I don't care how good your product is. If you don't have a way to have traffic, and I mean people eyes looking at what you have, and it has to be top notch, you don't have anything to sell. That's the sadness. That's what happened. Now, what did he do? I'm going to design the company from the beginning so that anybody, and Chris said this, I don't care if you're who you are, what you are, what your religion is. I don't care if you're disabled. I really don't. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm passive, doesn't care. You get in and you plug in. And, and you could be a half decent person and, and you, you, you can go with the flow like the rest of us. Look, there's not everybody thinks to say, not everybody has a good heart, but we were able to find a million. And I believe there's tens of millions out there. I believe there's billions out there. Good hearted people that would love the opportunity to be one of the one or 2% that succeed. One passive is the only business I've ever seen up to this day that it's, get, it's the only way to get a fair chance of anything I've ever said, ever, ever. Because why? The part that's the hardest, the company does for us. You and all the work and what the company does for you, behind you and builds around you and the foundation it puts under you, you're a superstar. You're a hero. And that goes for everyone. And some of the people that have been in this industry like me 20 years, even if I could market or can't market, that doesn't matter. If you can't bring somebody with you, you work like a mule. Even if you have the education, even if you have the skills, some of these big gurus that you see, if they didn't work it like a mule, their business would drop in value every single day. But if you have a system that's built in where everybody wins, so you could you imagine 
you have 500 people that have joined you, just a crazy number. 500 people joined you in a business and all 500 have the same potential as you do in succeeding. Where are they going to go? They're not going anywhere. In fact, they're going to share it with somebody else. And one day, that affiliate area will be shut down. Don't need them. When we become the hunted, and we're talking like a Facebook number where there's a billion people here or whatever, do you really need to go out and get in anybody else? No. You lock the door. People come in, they buy the products, and they leave. Walmart doesn't have, hey, come in. I'll make you an affiliate. Walmart, man, will build you a store next door. They don't do that. And one day this will stop here. And people say, well, why are you? I want as many people to get the opportunity that I have as quickly as they can. Can I make them do it? No. Will I try? No. Will I try to talk them into it? No. You offer it, you plant the seed, and you walk on. How many farmers do you know or people that grow crop, go through the field, plant it, till it, plant it, and just stand there waiting for it to come out of the ground. Nobody does that. They plant the seed, they go back to the farm, they go to another field and plant something else. They look back, there might be a couple of plants that didn't make it, but in general, when they come back, that corn they, they planted is now waist high by the 4th of July. Now, it was dirt before. I think you plant the seed, what comes out of that plant, it's really not up to you. The only thing up to you is planting the seed. You might There might be a bad seed. Maybe somebody doesn't want to do it. That's okay. But I'm telling people, and I'm saying this from the bottom of my heart, if you're watching this, you find somebody in this business, get in for free, and do yourself a favor. You can come in. You don't have to talk to anybody. Get in. Really look at what's going on. And you'll finally see if you've been online more than a month that this is the only chance you have to get what we have here and what all these people that are watching. That's why I'm on YouTube. YouTube is going to be, if it's not already, the biggest search engine on the planet. Yes, I know we use Google and all that. Times are changing. People want to see a, vis a visual. And I don't mean a picture. I mean a video. Video says... If a picture says a thousand words, a video says 10,000, no doubt about it. And it's hard to sift through the manure to find a diamond in the rough. It's really hard. And some people gave up. I'm not sifting through it. Some people were offered this and say, hey, look, you got to check it out. And they just said, no, I'm not taking a chance. I fell down before. I got hurt. I lost money. I'm not doing it again. Some people aren't that way. Some people fall down, dust it off, get up and go again. I did that. What would have happened if I did walk away February 1st of 2019? I would have never saw him passing. Or I might have saw it later. But in my mind, I thought, just maybe. And I had belief in my mind, there's got to be something better. The only thing that happened, I can, and this is the truth. I, would, I wouldn't say it, but I didn't believe it was the truth. When I found out passive, I thought, this is it. Did I believe it is what it is today? No, not at all. It is so much bigger than what I was even hoping for. Imagine that. And I want the same thing for everybody else. Look, sometimes your enthusiasm and your vision on something you have to share it through enthusiastic, be enthusiastic about it. Why? Because people don't know. But if you go, oh, my God, you won't believe what this looks like. People will walk over to you and look to see what you have. So walk that way, talk that way, and share it. If you don't believe it, and it's not you, and it's just not, <clears throat> you don't have that, that belief or that desire, that's okay. Work it until you do, because if you get to the level where I'm at, which might only be 5% or 1% of what's even going on, it's enough. Trust me, it's enough. And people need to know about on passive. Is there some, is there some things here I won't use? Yes, but I guarantee my store will be full of it.
because somebody will need it. That's all that matters. Somebody's going to need it. And I know one thing everyone needs. Everyone. They need a clean place to go as far as social media. They need to be able to go somewhere where there's no bullies. They need to be able to get a product where the company cares about your success. They need to go where the product isn't a ripoff and you could go get it somewhere else for 20 or 30% less. If you can have the best of the best and be with a company that thinks great, great is not good enough. And they do that for us, for all of us, all for one and one for all, no doubt about it. This company is for everyone. We are our brothers and sisters keeper. If that's what you're looking for, and even if you don't trust anything we're saying, do you trust you? And if you don't trust you, there's nothing we can do. But if you trust you enough, get in free, check it out, beat it around, knock it down, and say, wow, there might be something here. Or this isn't for me. You're ahead of the game because at least you looked. At least you looked. And all I'm saying is look. Take a test drive. It costs nothing. You could come in right now, and did you know you can't pay even if you wanted to? You come in and get a free version of Mo Connect and see what we're talking about. And you could be around a lot of people that were beat up in life, had bad things happen, but they have good hearts. I'd rather chat with a bunch of good-hearted people. I've got family that I don't even chat with. Why? Glass is half, half empty. In fact, I got some family members that glass ain't never had water in it. It's just how people are. I'm not that one. So do what you can. Get in it. Get involved. Don't walk away. I hear people that are, I don't get it. I don't get it. Of course you don't get it. How could you possibly get unpassive? How could you possibly know the mechanics and what they're doing? You could tell by the questions. Why this? Why that? Why this? If you knew even 10, 5%, you wouldn't ask the question because it would be enough that you don't have to ask it. You get it. Anyway, we'll go to Q&A. Uh, Chris will try to catch him in several columns. Marty, I got yeah. a roll. I got something that just came up again every Saturday, but you guys got this. Uh, you don't need me for the questions. There was only two that I saw. Okay. We won't be that much longer. Yeah. And oh, okay. I'll call me later. All right, buddy. Bye, Colin. Thank you, Collins. Bye, Chris. All right, now that he's gone, we can talk about him for a couple of minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, any questions, put a cue in front of it, and uh, we'll go a couple of minutes, five minutes, and try to answer it. Collins, anything you want to add in the meantime? It's okay. Obviously, yeah. the floor is open. Yes, but while we're looking for the question, you, you talk about two things which I just want to touch on. You know, we're talking about people looking at things in a different way, and never wanted to try and what came in my mind is you know when you refuse to try that's the only time you fail you know so you've done something i said no you know what i'm not doing it again that is when you be you, you start to fail that's when failure will start because you refuse to try those who keep on trying never fails because you are still trying you're trying you know when you fall you wake up you dust yourself you say you know what i'll keep on trying until i succeed so those people are not failures because they are still there trying. But those who say, no, I'm done with it, then you are a failure because you failed. And those who complain are those who refuse to learn and understand. When you keep on complaining, it means you've refused to learn and understand what it's all about. You know, so you already set your mindset of only what you want to hear. So those are the people, those are the kind of people sometimes you look at it and it's very hard to deal with them because... First, you don't even know what they are trying to do, what they are trying to achieve. So your job is, I'm complaining because I want only this. I want it my own way. Life, life doesn't work like that. You must keep on looking at it, learn someone first, and then the person can understand you. If you refuse to understand somebody, don't expect the person to understand you. So it's a, it's a give and take. You know, we are all in on passive. We must understand what Mr. Ashmofar is trying to achieve. The moment you know it, then you can say, wow. That is bigger than what I thought. And this is the way they are going. And it's nice and beautiful for me to follow and then be patient because I know all what they are building is, is, is for me as well and the entire globe. 
Sometimes we have to go beyond ourselves. So don't look at yourself, only me. Look at what it will do for mankind and even your own generation to come. And if this is the only thing I always say to myself, I can live for my family, even if I don't enjoy it, you know, at my own time, the life that God has given me and the, my generation can enjoy, I look up from heaven and I say, this is what I left. That will be the only thing. At the end of the day, Moses saw the promised land, but he never got into it. God showed him and said, you know what? You've seen it, but you will not get your food. Joshua will take the rest. So we always have to work beyond ourselves, not just ourselves. But if you enjoy it, so, so be it. You know, so let us always be patient and always know that what Ms. Ash Mufara is building is for sustainability for the next generation and the next generation and the next generation to come. And that's what I wanted to add, Madi Digamo. Absolutely. Jerry Nix, my man, why do I not receive any communications from you, which is me, about things that are coming up and I am subscribed to your channel? Uh, I'm going to make a confession. There's probably hundreds of questions that come to me that I don't see. Uh, and I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, if I can answer it and, and I see it, it's very important. I don't see everything. Um, I probably get a few hundred emails a day. I try to go to them as quickly as I can. But I also am in the middle of my living room. I don't have an office. And I do the best I can, but I'm not trying to hide from you, Jerry. I think you're a great guy. <clears throat> but that that's the best answer I can give you. Sometimes I miss it. And my bad. <laughs> Another thing I want to say, though, um, I've had people ask me 20 years online. And they know I'm, what I'm, I'm online. And somebody asked me, "Are you? why do you keep doing it? And I went, it was a very easy question. I love the easy ones. I said, because I didn't win yet. I didn't succeed yet. The last one was, you've been in on passive five years. Why? Because I'm about to win. Big difference. I believe where I'm at. This is huge. And if it would have happened in a week, if I came in the end of February of 2019, and by the end of March, it was done, it would probably already be gone. But because the foundation and the marketing and what I see they're building, this empire upon empire that will be hundreds of faucets of income, I'm glad it took longer. If you look at the long run, I mean, I'm sure somebody walked up to Edison and said, hey, how many times have you tried to light a light bulb? He said, 500. Why don't you just quit? Why don't you stop? He goes, because I don't have the light bulb yet. That's the difference. It's all mindset. It's the difference between what you expect and what you settle for. I never was the type that settled. Everything I did in my adult life was, it started off with, you can't. Well, I'd like to do this at work. and I'll, Well, you can't do that. You don't have a degree and you're not going to be able to. And I think that drove me. And I think it drove me up to this day. Some people, and not because I was special, because I was far from it. I was in Welcome Back Cotter's class, if you guys remember the sweat hogs. My point is, some people are driven from pressure. Some people fold from it. But why? Life's going to go on. Grab that, grab life by its tail and get as much out of it as you can. And if somebody's going to help you do that, like the company, Mr. Mufar, and what he's done, why wouldn't you go for it? Why wouldn't you go for it? Uh, a lot of people have, it, have opinions for you, what you should and you shouldn't do. Mainly what you shouldn't do, and you ask yourself, okay, I'll go by what you think I should do. Now, what do you think? And they don't have a plan. Their plan mm -hmm. is to attack your plan. That's weird. Hey, I don't like the way, I don't like the direction you're going. 
oh, it's warmer that way, and I want to go that way. Why? Where are you going? I'm not going anywhere. I'm following you to let you know you're going the wrong way. Well, wait a minute. That doesn't make sense. While you're following me going the wrong way, where are you going? You're going with me. Oh, I didn't think of that. Maybe I should go find somebody else. Yeah, go find somebody that's going the wrong way. In fact, I think there's a lot of people like you. Start a group. I mean, come on. It doesn't make sense. Anyway, let me see what other questions. I know some are popping up. By the way, whatever goes by goes by like a jet here. <laughs> oh, I can't see any. I, I saw a Q go by and a question. Can the company perhaps send out community? Communicate to founders who paid for O-Connect but not subscribe so they are all on the same page, not keep on asking their leaders on the ground. Okay, Rose, do you mean uh, people that have paid for O-Connect and it hasn't been uh, engaged or set up or running? If that's the case, if that's the case, uh, yeah, we definitely want to get you helped out. We have made a big list. They got it. We got feedback that most of those people are in. Their their O Connect's working, but it's a big, big company. And maybe some got through, uh, got through the the crack, and they're not getting um, activated. I'm not. That's the word I was looking for. Some people paid and it's not activated. Uh, what I'll do. What we'll do. Give me a day or so. We'll come up with another method of collecting those names of people that have engaged, have paid, but O-Connect wasn't engaged. That's okay. We can do that. I'll yeah. talk with Ash, maybe do something with support where they can, you know, something that you say in the thing so we can group them a little bit. But I agree with you. Yeah, you, it should all be taken care of. Matty, there's uh, a question here, if you want me to read. Go ahead. So it said, it said, it said please, uh, please, when on passive, it said when... On passive, be viral, say. Say, as says, we're viral, but my friends not hear of on passive, only if I tell I tell them. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, listen, here, I'm, I'm going to explain something. Would it make sense for the, punt, the company to push on passive as hard as they can right now? I don't think so. I'm going to tell you why. Not because it's not good enough, it's better than everybody else. You know, or we know, we should know, that there's an there's a issue with payments. I mean, I, I hope everybody knows that. Okay, back in September, one of the merchants that started off and they were working together for a year. Yeah, we're ready. Everything's good. Money started flowing very, very quickly. And there was a big hiccup. I don't know all the details. It wasn't good. And that merchant locked up money. And I mean big money. So it kind of, we started jump, you know, stuttering. So they said, okay, let's try to get other. So they hooked up different merchants. Because see, it's a lot easier for a company to bring the money in. But distributing the money at the highest rate that we are, it, it caused some issues. Why? Nobody knew who Connect was. Banks are getting all these notifications of all this money moving around. It, it did cause an issue. Okay, but, but they had promised, they were told, listen, a lot of money is going to be moving very quickly. Oh, no, we're good. Turn it on. Let us have it. Hit the floor. They even came back and said, when are you going? Just hold on. It's going to happen. They set it up with them. They took off. And it did not go well. Now, I don't know what indicators that it sparked when it got frozen. But what happens, what happened to me in my little bitty world, my little tiny world, one time I had an issue with PayPal. And they froze up my money for eight months while they did an investigation. Now, investigations are usually done by an outside source. In other words, what happened, how the money moved, and then, well, this isn't yours, and we've seen it, and it's a nightmare. But what we heard last is they have a date for all that to be unstuck, unfrozen, given back to us. It's not going to say the date because you can't. If he says the date and I'm passive, 
and it goes an hour over, everybody goes crazy, most people. So well, good news is it's going to be unfrozen. When we can, this is my personal opinion, when that bottleneck of payments both direction is freed up, we're going to go viral. That's what Mr. Mufara meant. Because at that point, the power and the fury of unpassive can push the gas pedal to the floor with a billion horsepower engine that this company has produced. Right now, we're idling. Yes, people are walking up, they're looking at the dashboard, they're looking at the connect, a few people are playing with it, saying, this is amazing, how come we're not going viral? The gas pedal hasn't been pushed down yet. And it doesn't make sense to go viral when affiliates can't be paid. Would you really want that? Right. See, think about that. Let's just put it together so it makes sense. When that area is refixed, whatever the issue is, you're going to see us go viral. No doubt. And you could say, well, why would you say that? I'm going to ask you a few questions. You tell me what might happen. We know, heard it from Collins, that O-Connect is a multi-billion dollar industry. The top five make tens of billions of dollars. Okay, the top five. There's many of them, by the way. Uh, they have certain features and they have certain costs. And they have no problems collecting that money, even if it seems outrageous. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. If you have, forget the name, the name of your company is ABC. In your ABC company, you have developed a video conferencing platform that is above market value, way above. Let's say, I'm going to use a crazy number, but it's even more so, I believe. I don't want to make anything bad. I'm going to give you enough. I'm going to give you enough and downplay it that should blow you away. Let's just say it's 50% cheaper. And the AI and technology is five years ahead of anybody that's there. Okay, so the cost is half as much. The value is three times as much or 50% more. And every time there's an update, which they're, and, and the company's motto is great is not good enough. So add these together, just add together what I'm saying. And people are using it by the millions every day, right now. People are using Zoom, they're using all of them right now, this day. And all of a sudden, the company starts the engine in this monster called Unpassive. It comes out with a blower unit like, like a freaking jet would have. And they slam that gas to the floor and open up the floodgate. Here it is. Now, look, they've already went out and planted the seeds. How do I know? We all know. All these things that they're signing in Africa, in Egypt, in Dubai, the AUE, people traveling around the world. You tell me what part of this deal is going on. Let's just use common sense. Here's what we got. Here's what we're working on. When we get this right, we'll let you know. We'll unlock and let the, we will release the Kraken and this thing's going to go viral. I believe that with all my heart. They know it. How do you think they feel knowing they can't do this quite yet? And then I hear people say, well, the ass said he's going to pay $37 million. That's the first time. That's the first payment. Bonus and uh, commissions. $37 million. And I believe, my opinion, 40% of the people didn't even pay it for the first time. So let's say they pay for it. You give a large majority of the people money from commissions or bonuses that they've never made money before. New packages come out, whatever you might want. Room for 500 people, 10,000 people, whatever. You love using it. You're using it anyway. You use Zoom right now. You could get it 
50 percent and i'm wrong because i think it's higher get paid to use it and now you have cash in your wallet to pay for it it's going to go viral just with us so the rest of the world's going to see it why let me tell you something right now every company on the planet wants to cut their bottom line they want to find a way how can i get that at a lower cost the big news outfits they go to zoom they go to uh all these big companies and say because they every one of them are using platforms now every one of them what happens when they say okay instead of spending a half a million dollars a year for a big news outfit we could do it for 150,000 and and it's better and the quality is better and the the service is better and it looks better it sounds better it has more functions do i really have to sell it no you just have to get ready that's why for the last five years people would ask me why are we in a train station why are we building such a big brand we haven't sold anything yet because they know what's going to happen when they say go they already know what's going to happen when they say go then we go viral that's why viral is being held back you picture them pass them on this on this big stallion this mm -hmm. big clydesdale they're not whipping its ass saying go 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 they're pulling back on the reins no no not yet not yet because you have to have everything in in order for viral to work viral means nothing if everybody comes in to use it and pay for it and they can't they can't pay for it or they can't pay out the commissions you think they want a bottleneck of money piling up no they want to pay and receive pay and receive some of the things with the with the merchants from what i understand and i don't know i don't work for the company was what as they paid them they didn't pay out as quick so eventually that doesn't work you can't pay, can't pay out 10 million they paid out two and then pay out 50 million and they pay out 10 then pay out 100 million and they pay out 20. and those kind of things have to match they have to make sense and everybody said well why didn't we just do it right who are we going to copy off of where's the blueprint well we could have done it just like who nobody's done what I'm, what I'm passive is doing so there was nobody to copy off of we had to go for it and we learned as we went even the merchants themselves and I'm sure it's a big boy did not know what was coming they didn't get it so anyway that, uh, that's the best I can explain that yeah. uh but yeah I, I believe it's going to happen but the main, best thing now I mean Ash could have gave a, a, a a 60 day extension to stop doing these 10 days my opinion is doing 10 days because things are about to crack this nut is about to crack right he doesn't want to tell people 90 days because everybody going to panic he's doing it little by little does he want it to go think about what we're asking i could see if ash was taking money from us every month as some kind of payment or or um a monthly payment that most MLMs have you paid every month no matter what's going on and then us not getting paid I'd be upset but we're not paying anything in fact he's given us OConnect free that's a beautiful company that's a good place to be do I like that things got slowed down yeah I don't like it but I, I bet I don't like it as much as Ash does he's the one paying the bills Ash cannot go to the health care or paying people salary and tell people the thousand or two thousand people that work for him and say look i can't pay you this week when the merchants lighten up i'll start paying you again are you kidding they're getting paid electrics being paid mortgages are being paid airline tickets are being paid people are moving all over the world movers and shakers every day everything for us they're getting paid while no revenue is coming in from on passing. That's a big deal. I hope I can explain that the best I can. Now, 
where the where this goes now with some people is they don't believe me. And that's the point. I can't do anything about it. If I'm a liar, then you're right. But if I'm lying, why? What am I getting for it? I'm not getting paid. Well, some people think I'm making millions and millions of dollars and ass is padding my wallet. Sorry, <laughs> that's not happening. <laughs> it's not happening. For one thing, I wouldn't want it to happen because I want to get, I want everyone to win. That's why I'm here. Why would I want to win some dastardly thing and go, well, I'm doing really well. Well, look at them. I, I don't want that. Even when I made a commission back in September, I didn't know at the time that that debacle was going to happen a week later. If I did, I wish I wouldn't have got it. Now, you could look and say he's lying. If you think I'm a liar, I'm a liar. But the fact is, that's what I'm saying, what I mean. Anyway, okay, what else? Comments? I'm sorry yeah. I'm talking yeah. too much. Yeah, so, no, you can talk, man. Just with... cut it tell me to shut up. You, you yeah, just shut so... up. <laughs> There's two questions. Um, I, I think I've missed some of them, but I try. I know it by heart. One person asks, "Do we still need affiliate?" Is Vavina asks, "Do we still need um, alternate email for affiliate?" I think the answer is yes. Someone already answered that is yes. You, you still need an alternate email because an alternate email is a backup email in case something happen. You can reset the email and they'll send it to your backup email. Then you can pick it and reset your password or whatever you want to do. And the other person said. Um, um, he is sending email from all mail and is hitting the spam folder for the new mail. He said, how do I do it? Please tell the person because all mail is a new email and the internet space needs to recognize that. It's just like if you have an application and you send to someone or an email to someone, the, your, the email doesn't recognize it. It will send it to the spam folder. The only thing you can do is open that email, set it as not a spam. And now the email, every time when you go to your email and send an email out, it will go directly to their inbox. They should just go and say, not a spam. And that's it. You've cleared that. Anytime, it will just come up. I think that's the two, the two questions picked. I think there's no more. This guy wants to find a way, the best way to contact me um, about the thing you were talking about. Um, I want to make sure I get it. And if I yell out my email... I'm going to get your question in 500,000 other ones. Um, let me think of a way to do it. Instant message me. Send me an instant message. Marty DeGarmo on, on, on Facebook. I'll try to chat with you there until I can know. Uh, but I do know what you're talking All I need from you, by the way, is uh, your OO mail, your, o your OES ID. And I think they can get in and see what's going on. And, and I'll tell you what would be really good, too. If you could take a picture, maybe, and explain what you're talking about. And maybe come back on here tomorrow. And maybe we could uh, share it live. And then I'll I'll bring it up to the company. I think I know what you're talking about, but I'd like to see it. Because it's a very good, very good thing. And there, there might be an answer. I don't know. So what time is Red coming? Is Red on now? Uh, red's probably hot as hell because <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah we're after eleven I'm sorry oh my yeah. god yeah red's gonna be hot yeah sorry guys I yeah. chatted too much yeah that's what so, happens red I'm sorry man oh so, my god yeah go so see what, red everybody <laughs> but what I just want to announce is heroes is tomorrow so those who want to make it to heroes with your questions again can come to heroes and we can see how to answer your question. Absolutely. Apologize, yeah. Red. Guys, go to Red right now. Boom, boom, baba doom. See you all. Thank you.